All right, everybody. As you all know, last year was kind of the winding down of the era of the red pill. It's certainly still around, don't get me wrong. I don't think it's ever really gonna go anywhere. Maybe 10 years from now it'll have fizzled out, but it's gonna be at least recognizable online for a little while longer. But it's definitely long past its peak. You know, and no doubt the figureheads of the red pill movement, this like misogynistic dude bro, like men's rights, you could, they call themselves type movement, uh, were the Tate brothers, Andrew and uh, Tristan Tate. And these guys have a long history online, a long history on the internet. Uh, even before they had a significant presence on the internet, they weren't quite known, at least Andrew Tate was quite known for being a pretty good kickboxer. As much as y'all might hate to admit it, apparently Andrew Tate's kickboxing record is pretty decent. He wasn't awful, he certainly wasn't like a prodigy, but he, you know, he wasn't horrible. He was just pretty like upper average, you know, like maybe lower, like good, you know, like he was, he was good at it. He was, a, he was a solid kickboxer. Um, and he even had his own, you know, share of fans initially. However, uh, I think as his kickboxing career wound down, he found that becoming an internet personality could be far more lucrative and would fit him far better. And that's what he did. Leaning very heavily into his, like, hyper-masculine, macho, cigar-smoking, boxer uh, persona, he started making content on different websites. And when TikTok came along, that's when he really blew up because his show segments would be spread all around. He of course opened up this thing called Hustlers University, a pyramid scheme in which he gets his own fans to pay him money for classes that are supposed to teach them how to become good businessmen and how to get women. Uh, now, the logic behind this is that if you become a good businessman, you'll make money. And if you have money, you can get cool things. And if you have cool things, then women will want you. Um, and so it's really just a get-rich-quick type scheme. And it is, of course, at the end of the day, as I said before, a pyramid scheme. What he teaches you, the way to, you know, build your business up and make money, is to take clips from Andrew Tate's show and repost them all over the internet as shorts and spam them and monetize them while also acting as free advertising for Andrew Tate. The reason Andrew Tate blew up so much is that every single young man that could possibly be, uh, you know, enticed by Andrew Tate's rhetoric, they were sure to encounter him and hear what he has to say because Andrew Tate already had an army of fans convinced that they would become rich if they shared around his content and reposted his content on every corner of the internet. And it worked. All of it trickled back up to the top, to the you know tip of the pyramid being the Tate brothers themselves. So on top of all this, using their money, their resources, their now established compound in Romania, uh, since they moved from the UK to Romania. And I think they I think they were born in America, or I think they might have been born in Britain, moved to America, then moved back, then moved to Romania, if I'm not mistaken. They might have spent some time in the UK in between. I believe that's their, um, their, like, general story. So, the Tate brothers uh, moved to Romania, and they established a compound. Sometime around this time, from my understanding of the story, I'm sure certain infractions happened prior, but around this time is when a significant amount of sex trafficking came up. Now, the Tate brothers were already awful people. They already very publicly did not have any th good things to say about women, uh, any good things to say about black people or gay people or trans... Well, actually, funnily enough, Andrew Tate in the past has said some um, chasery things about trans women, but uh, he's walked that stuff back now because he is just, you know, trying to make a quick buck. So Andrew Tate um, and Tristan Tate allegedly began trafficking women. Uh, now, Romania, while having a shitload of corruption and perhaps giving the Tate brothers the impression that it was a safe place for them to conduct this kind of business, uh, does not fuck around when it comes to sex trafficking and certainly not the sex trafficking, abuse, and assault of minors. In fact, their, um, uh, their, their FBI equivalent is the group that is set to investigate, charge, and, um, prosecute, or I guess attempt to prosecute, uh, the Tate brothers. 
Uh, they're also doing, like, you know, the, the searches, the investigations. They're building the case against them. And I do think it's important to point some things out here. The Tate brothers do not, I don't think, believe that they're going to get away with what's happening here. Okay? I don't think they believe they're getting away with it. But for some reason, whether they think they're getting away with it or not, they are telling their audience that they're completely innocent, which is at this point exceedingly unlikely they practically like there are wiretap videos of andrew tate admitting to committing these crimes andrew tate taught classes on how to do the lover boy method of sex trafficking which is what he's been accused of by several women the idea that he would reach out to these women offer them a very happy life in a relationship get them to you know disconnect from their family and friends and move very far away and then once they get there they realize very quickly they're one of many women one of many girlfriends who are now going to work on cam sites or on OnlyFans, uh you know whether they like it or not posting images of themselves online as Andrew Tate takes uh, the vast majority of their earnings, right? Um, and so this is objectively sex trafficking. It's a form of sex trafficking that in the world of criminal justice has a name, the lover boy method. And Andrew Tate would brag frequently about how this was how he built his army of girlfriends that worked for him. That's just sex trafficking. And it is fully illegal and he has admitted to doing it. There is almost certainly no hope for the Tate brothers to get out of this. And that this was true a year and a half ago. Unfortunately, legal stuff like this, especially the serious, takes forever to move along, so we're going to be following this for a while yet, believe me. Um, but uh, it was already really serious and looking really bad for them a few months ago, or a year ago even. It just got so much worse for them, though. Things just got way more serious. Police just raided Andrew Tate's home in Romania as new allegations emerge involving minors. These are not the first either, by the way. These are just more allegations, like a big wave of them, all involving minors. So it's like, okay, now there's just no denying. Like, there's, there's some pedophilia happening in this whole situation as well. Not just the trafficking of adult women, you know? Masked police officers in Romania carried out fresh raids early Wednesday at the home of divisive internet influencer Andrew Tate, who is awaiting trial on charges of human trafficking, rape, and forming a criminal gang to sexually exploit women. Romania's anti-organized crime Ag agency, or DICOT, that's like the Romanian FBI, I think, uh, said it was searching four homes in Bucharest and nearby Ilfov County, investigating allegations of human trafficking. The trafficking of minors, sexual intercourse with a minor, influencing statements, and money laundering. The agency added that hearings will later be held at its headquarters. Tate's, spo Tate's spokesperson, Mattia Petrescu, said in a response to the raid that although the charges in the search warrant are not f yet fully clarified, they include suspicions of human trafficking and money laundering and added that his legal team is present. Petrescu did not address the allegations involving minors. Of course not. So I think it's, um, you know, maybe a little concerning, perhaps, that the Tate brothers are now, like, getting continuously mounting allegations of sexual assault against minors uh, mounting up. Also, my headset, I think, just fucking broke. Oh, wait, no. The music just went quiet for a while. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was freaked out, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Just like my headset beeped and I heard nothing. <laughs> As I was saying, though, uh, kind of worrying that they're not acknowledging that whole allegation of uh, of of doing shit with minors, huh? Kind of weird how the lawyers not even commenting on that. They have been claiming that these allegations have been false for a while. They've been claiming, oh yes, Andrew Tate's just really upset somebody. Uh, in the government, and they're attacking him with lawfare, you know, just kind of stealing take, like, talking points from Trump when it comes to the law catching up with him. Uh, obviously, none of us believe that. I don't even think most normal people could ever believe that. But something you need to understand is that the, at the end of the day, Andrew Tate's fan base are children. You know what I mean? Like, we've heard all these stories about kindergarten first grade teachers and how the like young boys in their classes are repeating and emulating andrew tate and you know they're 
impossible to deal with. And, and it's like, I, I've literally never come so close to, t to punching a kid as when this, like, eight-year-old boy said to my face, uh, shut up, whore. Stay, like, know your place. Like, it was, like, I, I saw that post and I was like, Jesus Christ. Um, some of them as young as four. Yeah, you need to understand. The audience this is appealing to... Well, I mean, let's... Here, where's that one video? Sneeko meets his fans. Sneeko is obviously very much in the space. Uh, like, very much in the space with Andrew Tate. In fact, this kid here is saying Andrew Tate at the very start of this clip of Sneeko meeting some of his fans. Look at this group of Sneeko fans that meet him in public. This is very much reflective of Andrew Tate's fan base as well. Andrew Tate! Fuck the Tate. woman! Fuck the woman! What? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Sneeko, Sneeko. We love women. We love women. We love women. But not, not like transgenders. Yes, sir. We love everybody. Okay. No, no. All gay yeah, die. Gay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Mark, preach. Right. What have I done? I need you to understand, that is the average Andrew Tate fan. There are certainly some grown-ass fails of people that are, you know, absolutely in their 20s and 30s watching Andrew Tate. Don't get me wrong. But the vast majority of his fan base, the vast majority of users of TikTok, which is where he is the biggest and has been the biggest, YouTube Shorts where he's the biggest and has been the biggest, Kick. I'm pretty sure he's been the biggest and has been the biggest um, over time. These are platforms where the primary audience are at the oldest, on average, teenagers. You know what I mean? And so in Andrew Tate's place, where he when he wants to defend his honor and convince his audience that he's not a bad guy, he's not a pedophile, he's not like a rapist, because even some of his own fans would think that, that's a bit far, right? Um, he claims he's innocent, and he claims that well, he makes claims and pushes ideas that only a child could believe. Um, one of my favorite examples was the 10,000 like Twitter post claiming that Joe Biden was somehow at fault for not pardoning Andrew Tate from these charges. Um, reminder, by the way, Biden is not the president of Romania. But this talking point really picked up steam in Andrew Tate's audience that Biden was, like, to blame for not, like, Trump would have pardoned Andrew Tate. It's like, what? Do, what? You, do, they don't know about countries and the and countries having different laws. These kids don't know that. This is the average fan of Andrew Tate. And so when Andrew Tate defends himself, he says something that a child would, you'd have to be a child to believe, and they fall for it. Because his fans are either literally children, which is terrifying considering what, what we're covering right now, or have the minds of children but are adults nonetheless. You know, very immature types that just think, they think Andrew Tate has any, anything valid to say, right? There's no, no adult thinks this. Dozens of police officers and forensic personnel were scouring Tate's large property on the edge of the capital, of Bu the capital Bucharest. During the entire criminal process, the investigated persons benefit from the procedural rights and guarantees provided by the Code of Criminal Procedure, as well as the presumption of innocence, Dicot noted in its statement. The 37-year-old Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan, who is 36, both former kickboxers, oh, they are both former kickboxers, okay, and dual British U.S. citizens who have amassed millions of social media followers were arrested in 2022 near Bucharest along with two Romanian women. Romanian prosecutors formally indicted all four last year. They have denied the allegations. But, oh yeah, the two women that were arrested as well were like the actual, um, uh, if you guys know generally how sex trafficking works not generally I, I should say but in a lot of cases sex trafficking organizations obviously typically have a man at the very top or multiple men at the very top that are like making money off of this and like organizing this, this awful stuff but they'll also often find one or two women to act as like the wranglers of the sex trafficking victims because they understand that if they can get a couple of women to convince the group of women that this is okay, this is normal, 
Um, hell, just women are generally considered less threatening. So if a woman is vouching for you at all, like there's a, um, a bias when it comes to dating where women are actually attracted to guys who are already in relationships, not because of any like weird um, like psychological shit or whatever, but simply because most of the time if a guy's in a relationship, it's pretty impo it's pretty likely that he's not like a complete weirdo. You know what I mean? There's a pretty high chance that that that's like sort of a a a confirmation or a a sign they're not really fucking weird. Holy crap, there's a guy with like five accounts in YouTube chat right now spamming ERS. Um and they're the first part of their name is NIG. Oh my god, he's got how many accounts does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six, six accounts. Stop uh, deleting their messages, by the way, moderators, because you're making it uh, so I can't ban the accounts. Jesus Christ, they've got nine alt accounts, all meant just to say the N-word in stream chats. Holy crap, now they're on their one that has shoot all NIG at the start. Jesus. You know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and shut down YouTube chat. Wait, how are they even typing? Because they have to be subbed. Maybe I should turn it to members only. Jesus Christ, they have so many accounts. They they literally have like thirty or forty accounts at this point. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn it into members only mode, guys. Sorry. They're just spamming the N-word and there's too many accounts to ban. I think it's some kind of bot someone set up. Listen, guys, this is what conservatives get up to. Timestamps, reactions. How do you set it to, to members-only mode? How do you do that? Huh. Doesn't seem like it's possible. YouTube seems to have made it, like, really fucking hard for no reason. All right, well, I'm just going to close YouTube chat, and the moderators there can handle it. YouTube chat doesn't exist anyway. So, yeah, in case you're curious what kind of stuff you have to deal with when you're a lefty content creator, stuff like that. Stuff like that. Um, that is what conservatives online like to do. Anyway, um, probably an Andrew Tate fan, to be honest, though. Considering, you know, I'm covering Andrew Tate, likely an Andrew Tate fan. And so likely a child behind that. A little bit of a perfect example of what I'm talking about when I uh, refer to the communities that follow this guy. Pachescu said late Wednesday that the Tate brothers have been detained for 24 hours, which is the maximum DICOT can hold them without a judge approving a request by prosecutors for a longer period. As of yet, no proposal has been submitted by the prosecution, she said. As the brothers were ushered from their homes into a police van outside, Andrew Tate complained to reporters that the case was progressing too slowly. What I've done wrong, who knows, he claimed. Jesus Christ. One of the things that Andrew Tate has been doing is claiming he's done, you know, he's done nothing. He's completely a victim of uh, criminal, like, lawfare here, right? He's he's claiming that uh, they're going after him for politics, that he's just upset someone in uh, Romanian government. He's talking about how the corruption in Romania is why they're going after him, when the corruption in Romania is why he moved there, because he thought he could get away with this stuff. Go to live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't worry about it. That's too, uh, that's too much work, SSW Braidu. I don't care. The more miserable YouTube chat is to be in, to be fair, the better. Because people need to not think it's okay to be in YouTube chat. I, I really should just stop moderating YouTube chat entirely, so it's just unbearable and everyone comes to the site. Anyway. Um, Andrew Tate is known for expressing misogynistic views online and has amassed 9.9 .9 million followers in the social media platform X and has repeatedly claimed that prosecutors have no evidence against him and that there is a political conspiracy to silence him. He was previously banned from various social media platforms for misogynistic views and hate speech. In April, the Bucharest Tribunal ruled that the prosecutor's case file against the four met the legal criteria and that a tri trial could start but did not set a date for it to begin. That ruling came after the legal case had been discussed for four months in the preliminary chamber stages, a process in which the defendants can challenge prosecutors' evidence in case file. Um, I don't think the Tate brothers really have any um, defense that they're going to bring out. I think it's really just a matter of they're trying to stall and stall and stall as much as they can, like, going to prison. Because, like, man, for what they're being charged with, if they're guilty of even half of it, they're going to prison for a very long time. It, that, like, it, it's, there's, I don't think they'll ever see or breathe free air uh, if, like, even half this stuff ends up 
them being found guilty. Xander Hall Tate previously said the only untouched virgin women are 15 to 17 years old. Hold on a second. Do you have a clip of him saying that pedophilic shit? Because I know he said that shit before, and I know there's clips of it, but I'm not going to go searching for it. He did. Don't remember where. Yeah. Nope, I'm not searching for it, guys. The clip was deleted. Yeah, a lot of... That's why I'm not going to be searching for it, is if you try to find a lot of clips of Andrew Tate incriminating himself, they're lost media now. If you find the links, though, you can click on the links where people say, like, oh, did you see Andrew Tate said so-and-so, and then a link, and then you click on the link, and those links are all DMCA takedown. Andrew Tate has taken down on his end and DMCA'd any videos or clips or anything containing videos and clips of him saying these things. Some people's videos, like I know that Willie Mac shows videos, contain a lot of these clips and he hasn't been uh, DMCA'd. Uh, but most of the time, if you upload a clip of him incriminating himself with this stuff, very quickly his team DMCA's you. So it's very hard to find these clips. Very hard. A good example is like, he's even uh, DMCA'd a lot of clips of um, Aiden Ross sniffing the chair that he was sitting in. That clip is surprisingly hard to find. You can find meme edits of it and stuff that survived the DMCA, but finding the raw clip is surprisingly hard. You would actually be surprised. Anyway. After the Tate brothers' arrest in 2022, they were held for three months in police detention before being moved to house arrest, and they were later restricted to the Bucharest and Ilfov counties and later to all of Romania. Um, last month, a court overturned an earlier decision that allowed the Tate brothers to leave Romania as they await trial. The earlier court ruled on July 5th that they could leave the country as long as they remained within the 27-member European Union. The decision was final. In March, the Tate brothers also appeared at the Bucharest Court of Appeal in, sep in a separate case after British authorities issued arrest warrants over allegations of sexual aggression in the UK, or in a UK case dating back to 2012 to 2015. The appeals court granted the British request to extradite the Tates to the UK, but only after legal proceedings in Romania have concluded. If you guys don't know, is, is anyone here clicking on Zan's mic? Does anyone else here clicking? Okay, that's apparently just not a pie. Okay, cool. Um, anyway, the Tates apparently lost their ability to travel outside of the country after uh, somebody, uh, I, th I think it was actually caught on wiretap, the Tate brothers were planning how they were going to try and escape the country uh, or escape the EU and get to the United Arab Emirates where they wouldn't be able to be extradited, A, and B, where their sex trafficking practices are pretty much fully legal and where they can live like their fake Muslim LARP where they just kind of assault women and whatnot all day. Um, yeah, like the, the UAE is basically the misogynist's like heaven on earth. It's like the, the misogyny uh, Garden of Eden, the misogyny um, Fountain of Youth, I, I don't know, El, El Dorado, right? It, they, they yearn for it, and he is so desperate to get there because he'll be home free, get out of jail free card, they can't take him back, and uh, he'll be able to continue his sex trafficking and pedophilia relatively unopposed. I don't, I don't, like that, that's what he wants. He wants to live in the UAE, and he's desperate to get back there. He even tried to—I think he faked cancer. D didn't Andrew Tate literally fake cancer and try to get— permission to go to the uae where his doctor is his doctor who apparently also helped him fake cancer and gave him a false doctor's note to try to help convince the uh the uh, authorities to let andrew tate take just a quick medical trip to the uae he'll totally come back for his trial he'll totally come back for his sentencing yeah who remembers that that shit was crazy that shit was crazy yeah, Andrew Tate really is a monster. So is his brother. Don't get me wrong. Don't forget about Tristan Tate, too. He gets less attention and all this stuff. But uh, he's he's as much of a monster as Andrew Tate as well. And, uh, God, I, I cannot wait for the day we get to hear guilty, guilty, guilty. And hear how many years, like how many decades they're going away for. Because the, these guys are in their mid-30s. If they go away for, like... I mean, hell, one charge of sex trafficking might be, like, 20 years. It might be almost half their life that they've already lived. Um, or it might be, like, almost the amount of time they've already lived on this planet that they get charged, um, sentenced just for one of the counts if they're found guilty of it. Pedophilia is life in prison? Is it really in Romania? That's a better way to handle it, I suppose, than we do here. We're supposed, like... Apparently, there are pedophiles that get less time than, like, drug dealers. 
You know what I mean? Like if like I don't care how many drugs you were dealing or smuggling, you should not get more time in prison than a guy who like was fucking with kids, you know what I mean? But that is kind of how it is in America a little bit. Like it, it, there are some surprisingly lax standards for sex crimes against children. You can almost always correlate correlate that to red states. Anyway, everyone, if you enjoyed this segment and you found it in any way, uh, well, I wouldn't I wouldn't go so far as to say entertaining is the metric that I'm going for. I suppose uh, informative. Then consider dropping a like. It really does help a lot, and it means a ton. Every thumbs up goes a long way to push my channel and the algorithm. Kind of twists YouTube's arm and forces them to show my content to new people, which helps the channel a ton, and it's totally free. So thank you to everyone who's done that and uh, everyone who's going to do that as well. And consider subscribing, ring the bell icon to turn on all notifications so YouTube actually tells you when I go live or upload, and also consider commenting down below. All these things help a ton, and it really means a lot to me, so thank you to everyone who has and, you know, does do that. And of course, um, if you want to see more from me, follow my social medias. They're all linked down below in the description of this stream. Uh, I hope you do enjoy, and consider joining my fan discord. It is my official fan discord. It's totally free to join, and I also host events there, such as call-in streams, watch parties, and game events. I announce all my new uploads and streams there, so you won't miss anything, even if YouTube bugs out and doesn't tell you that I'm active. And on top of that, if you want to support me financially and you can afford it, you want to help me keep a roof above my head, the lights on, and the, uh, the electricity flowing through my wires then you can uh donate subscribe or gift a sub on my website like straw hat monty 97 just generously did or you can support me through youtube twitch streamlabs stream elements or patreon or buying merch in the streamlabs link down below in the description but regardless of how you support me thank you so much for your support it means a lot and have a good one